Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at a nature hike cloud up to my tent. This tent is not mine again, this is someone else's tent, here it is. But they've kindly given us this to have a look at and to show you guys. Now I have seen this up, up on, we were up Sedbury and here's the photo here, look at this. And that's the photo there, it looks really good. We're going to get it whacked up. I couldn't find much information about the tent, apart from it weighs roughly 1.4 kilograms. The waterproofing is 20D nylon, that's the fly sheet, with a PU 4000 coat, you know you're going to be alright as soon as you pull it up. It also comes with a sleeping footprint which is 210 in length and 125 in centimetres. There's the footprint there, this is what it looks like. Little small bag which you can buy extra with the tent. This goes underneath the tent to protect it underground, underneath from the ground. And the tent's going to last a lot longer with one of these underneath. It's going to help it. Get one, preserve your tent underneath make it last longer. The setup can be done in roughly five minutes. We'll see about that. That's by one person. Um, downsides to the tent, which I've looked online, is it's quite a small tent, might not be for two people, and apparently it gets condensation. But each to their own. I think it, it kind of depends what weather, the, what weather you've got. If it's if there's a breeze coming in and it's going through the airflow, you should be all right. If there's no breeze at all and you have one, two people in the tent, that's going to create mass condensation. But let's get the tent up and I'll show you what it looks like. Right, this is the inner bit in now, which, as you see in there, fairly easy to put in. I had to really look of how this would go in, but it's a bit obvious. The back bit here is shorter than the front in width, so that's quite obvious that that would go into that shape. It was quite easy to put the poles in. I had to think about how you you clip these on, so what you do is you push and turn, put it on, turn, and then it clips on. I don't know if you've seen that there. 
but put it on, turn, and that's how it clips on. So that's the inner. If you think about it, if you go somewhere where you know it's going to be nice and warm, this is what you can just have. So you, you could just have the bottom sheet there for the extra ground support, and you could just have this, which has got really good airflow in. And you, it'll be nice and cool for you in summer weather. You see here, the bottom bit, you have got a couple of inches where the waterproof material comes up and then you've got this extra membrane here. But I can imagine that bottom red bit is more water repellent. So here it is. This is the tent, fully set up now. Everything's pegged in, apart from the two ropes at the front here. That's when, of course, I've just run out of pegs. Right, as you can see, it is quite a nice shaped tent. It looks almost like the OEX Bobcat, but bigger in a way with that singular pole at the top there. Right, let's have a look at some of the specifics of the tent then. Eh? You've got four guy ropes on each side of the tent there. To move the guy ropes, you just move this up and down. Then that locks in there to the teeth whenever you feel like you've got the right distance. So then you would just pull it out, tie it down. There is quite a bit of a gap here from the tent. So the rain's gonna come down and drip away from the tent. It's a good feature. You have clips here, which go onto the ground sheet, which also the other ground sheet has this, that extra bit. So you can also clip it into that. So in theory, you don't have to use your inner bit of the tent. You could just have the outer, and then you could have the bottom bit, and that would do you. Extra little feature of the tent, which I noticed, there's a clip there, and you see that? There's a clip, which this connects to the inner of the tent, just to give it a bit more support. It might not flop about as much. Side guy rope there coming out to keep the sides away from the inner. That's what I mean there, look, so as you can see, that's got a clip, then that's got a clip there, so in theory, you don't really need to use your inner if you didn't want to. There's your air pocket there. Air vent would open up, you can have a choice if you want it down. You would just lift that up, that's down there, or oh, you can have it as wide as you can. That's the bit there that would keep it up. Fairly easy to put in. There we go. If I can do it with one hand, it's easy. As you can see, it has been used. More pegs, pegs there down the side. I like the logo on the side, it looks nice. So that's the outer. Let's have a look inside, see if there's plenty of room. If you open it up, you have got two Velcro patches there to keep it secure. It looks nice. Vestibule area is quite large as well, so if you needed to cook, that's practical. Zip again, let's have a look. Can I do it with one hand? Yes. So it's nice and taut, this. Oh, I do love the inner. It's a lovely colour. It's gorgeous. All right, we're climbing in now. It's quite wide. Oh. So there we go. 
you've got a hook there for a lantern. There's your in some instruction there at the side of the tent. I can't see any pockets. There's no pockets in the tent. I mean, to be fair, I don't always use the pockets. So you've got a canny airflow there coming in. You've got that one which I showed you, which you can move yourself, and then you've got this bit here, which would also act as air coming under the tent and then in. So I'm guessing that's to make it a little bit lighter. Usually with tents, you do have an option of this netting, and then you've also got the regular material, which is the same as the rest of the inner which would come round and then you could normally split them both up and have a choice but you've only got this choice so that might make it right it will make it a hell of a lot more airflow coming in but sometimes if you don't want that you haven't got the option not to have that I'm impressed with the tent so far I like it the seams look excellent quality Factory sealed, as I mentioned. The stitching's really good. All around the tent, you can see it's got some class to it. I, I can't get over how good this bottom feels. It just feels really good quality. Right, I'm laid down now. So, for instance, <laughs> there's sort of the gap there. It would definitely be a squeeze to get two of me in. If I had someone in, like a child, like say my daughter, if I was sharing it with her, Mia, then I think it would be, it would be spot on. But I think two adults is going to be a push, especially even just moving around. It's going to be quite annoying. You're going to be on each other quite a lot, kicking each other, just moving about. It's such a warm day, I'm sweating my tits off. It's comfortable. I really like how you, how you have that footprint. It's really good how you got that extra support underneath the tent. No, but it's a nice material. Lightweight. Fairly easy to erect. Um, yeah. Price-wise, I think it's roughly, depending if you get a sale, I think it's, Roughly between 120 and 150 pounds. That's um, what I've seen it as. So it's up there with the likes of like OEX tents and some of the Van Goghs. So it is up there with them. Nature hike though, it's not something which I see often around the campsites. And it's a shame because there's a few items which I've noticed which they really good quality. You know, there's a couple of more tents which I've seen. They look really good. I've watched a few people on YouTube re review them. The accident. And just some of the other equipment just to use. Just It's just practical, some of the things. And it's fairly good price. The last thing I bought, which was Nature Hike, Nature Hike was just a compressed sack. But it's really good. It's just really good material, what it's made with. Anyhow, so this is the inside of the tent. I am a little bit shocked it hasn't got pockets inside, like, but it saves that extra weight, I guess. Right, let's have a look back outside the tent. Right, we do have a little bit of a pocket here. But you couldn't put nothing heavy in there, else it's just going to rip. So the odd light bit could go in there, I'm guessing. Unless it's for light, I'm not too sure. If you, if you, if you know what this is for, just comment on the video. Just, just before we get out, you have got a tie here which would keep this mesh towards the side. But really, you want this shut at all times, like for bugs getting in and everything. So that's the tent there. Wouldn't say it's a four season tent, because the sides are quite high up. We've frozen that in the winter time. But, three season tent, 
you know, from March on to maybe September, October time. It's going to be class. Perfect. As I've got enough tents myself, I probably won't be buying one of these. But it is nice to get other tents from other people, just to show you guys as well. Then I get the chance to put them up. And it just feels really nice to feel different materials and how different tents are designed. Like this for instance, I've never had one where it's just one, it's, it's technically one pole that's just clipping into each other. It's almost like the frame of a car, you know. But yeah, well let's get the tent back up, we'll see how long this takes and we'll see how easy it is. So that's that. So taking everything down, it's roughly about, I would say more like 10 minutes to take everything. That was the, the ground sheet as well. Or the footprint, should I say. Um, packs down really small. Bonus, it's light. You could even put that in a compression sack. Condense it right down so it's really small. Put your poles in a different compartment in your bag and that would reduce the load really it's um yeah it does pack down really well i'm impressed with it how light it is putting up simple there is instructions inside of the bag that it comes in if you do get stuck that is poles the only thing is with them is i think i'm used to just the one set poles and there has been times where I've had a pole break and with the one set poles it's easy to replace where with that because it's just one like big spine I think I would struggle fixing that that would need sending off and a specialist seat to it because I, I would know what to do but with the single poles I know what to do I've even made a YouTube video of how to make how to repair single poles materials of the tent excellent Great value for money. I'm not, try, I'm not quite sure what the returns policy are or if it comes with a year's guarantee. I think it will do. Or something like that. It'll come with some kind of guarantee. If it's, you know, if it's there for, if, if something breaks and it really shouldn't do, then uh, I'm pretty sure we should be able to return that. But, yeah. It's a good tent. It's worth the money. I would definitely get one. But like I said, I don't need any more tents. This is my friend's tent. It also gave us some more to review. So there is some more coming up 
in the near future. So I hope you've liked the video. I hope you've liked the tent. If you have the tent, comment. If I've missed anything out, let us know in the comments so then other people can see if I've missed anything out. So I hope you've liked it. Remember, if, if you want to watch some more videos, subscribe here and watch some more at the sides there. Great. I'll see you later on.